Hey everyone, I'm back with a new video. I know it probably hasn't been a week since I last uploaded, but I was bored just sitting here and I'm like, hey, let's upload a new video. Now, I don't know if it's going to be fun. Yes, I do have Keith Urban playing in the background. Um, it's called Shame. And I'm a big Keith Urban fan. Also a big fan of Pink, Eminem. Uh, who else am I a big fan of? Uh, Slim Dusty, of course. Um, big fan of country music. Um, so yes, what we are doing, well what I am showing you today, is how I put my football cards in here. How I set it up to actually put them in here. Now let me just switch this light around. There we go, that's not so bright. That's better. Now, as you can probably see, I've got a few cards here. Now, I will show you one page that I've done just so it's easier for you guys to see. This is probably a better page. So, I've done that there. And then if you turn that over, you can see I've put the gold ones there on this side, on the back of the page. So, if I do that, is that going to work? Yes. So you can see I've done that. Now, I've opened up these cards. I've just been a bit lazy to put them in the book. So I've just had them in like a little cart. Like, not a cart, but like a little basket thing. Now, I have this deck. I bought four packs. I usually buy four packs. There was one time I bought ten. Just a bit obsessed. Um, but before we, before I get started with sorting out the cards, I have this, um, what's it called? Snaplock bag. This is full of all the spares, I think. Yeah, all the spares. I should actually write on it spares, just so I know. I may need to get another one or just get a bigger one and I also have a snap lock bag with all the good cards as you can see now so what I do is I go through it I always put that on the um, ground not the ground but the bed and then I go through it and just pull out the good cards. And I also make sure they're flipped around properly. Because if they're not, then it's harder for me to sort of deal with it. I know you can, I know you can barely even see me. But sometimes I'll put the cards like down there to stop them from moving. See, that's a good card because it's 3D. I don't know if you can see it. Now that I've got the good cards all sorted out, we don't know which ones I have of double ups. So, what I do next is I usually put that aside and at the moment I am going to be using my pillow well one of my pillows I gotta fix this up okay 
Now let's put you down a little bit. I am using my computer, so it may be hard. But if I do this, put this pillow underneath the computer, hopefully it works. I hope. It shows me. It shows this area, and if I lean back, then you can see me. So what I do with this is, I don't usually do this, but I think it might be good to split the golds up with the normal colours. It's just going to be easier, so I don't have to keep flipping. Well, I'm going to have to flip the pages over anyway, but... trying to put them in all the time so then what I do is um, where is one okay we'll use these two as an example see these two numbers up there this one's 94 and this one's 125 I split them up so the singles and the um, sorry, not the singles, the um, doubles and the triples for the numbers. So these three are doubles. And also for the singles, they go in with the doubles. And these go in with the triples. And the same with the 200s, they go in there. Now this one is a bit tricky because your hands start to get a little bit sweaty. So you need to be very, very careful. Um, now, once I've done that, I split the hundreds and just sit them anywhere on my bed. Now, I, okay, let's do this. So then there's that one there. Let's see. Okay, we don't have that. So we'll just use these two. So you see that? Anything under 50 goes in one part. Anything over anything over 50 goes in another pile so we'll figure that out uh, so that's 58 that goes in that pile 30 uh, 35 and then Split that up, the ones that are over 50 go over here, like usually just go in my lap. And then we bring the book and it starts off with one and then it goes all the way like that. But depending on how you set it up, you might set it up going that way. But I've set it up going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, as you can see, here we haven't got another one like that we've only got a gold one for that one at the moment so i've just put that gold one there so i know which one's seven i have to look at it that's a bit weird now what i do with this before i set put them in i put them in them num in number order and it's just easier so all i have to do is three three flip through the book and find it so 13 do i have 13 no i do not have a 13 so 13 goes in there now 35 i have a 35 so i just put that over there now i'll come back after i finish this pile okay So I have finished that pile, so now what I'm going to do is go on to the ones above 50. I did have a 55 in that pile, but that was just what I did. Now I am past 50, so let's put this all in order. I usually go for the first number first, and then I go through it and look at the, sec the second number. It's just what I do. 
Now, we do the exact same thing with this. So, first number is 70. There we go. If you don't know where you're looking, you're looking up at that corner there. 70. We've already got a 70, so we put that there. Now, 73. We've got a 73. Put that there. I've got most of the cards anyway, so I'm not expecting to have much missing. 85. We don't have an 85, so we just put the 85 where it is supposed to go. Now, 94, we've got a 94. 98, we've got a 98. Now, now for the hard, well, what I think is hard and fun. We are going with the hundreds now. Now, since this is like this, I don't know which one's which. I flip it over to the hundreds. Now, since this has two hundreds in it with it, I split them up. I always keep the hundreds in my hand and then just put the two hundreds down there. It's just what I do. Everyone's probably different. I don't know. But, yeah. So I go through it and... See this 60, 167, I put that down there and I go, anything above that can go down there too. Ooh, I get a notification. I don't know what that notification was, but you guys know what I do next. I sort them out, so... I will get back to you once I finish this and then show you what I do with the 200s. Now, I finished that. Most of them were spares, of course, because I've nearly finished the book. Now, up to the 200s. With the 200s, because there's not much, I don't split them up. I just put them in number order, which they basically all are. I just had to swap two around and because there's only four and that we don't usually get much 200s then yeah that 200 goes there so i'm glad i've got one Ooh, yes i always get excited when i get two like a, a set basically now, I've done those cards. Now, yes, we are going with the gold cards. Now, with these, because there's not that much gold cards that you get, I do the same. I put the hundreds down, and then I just, I don't really worry about splitting them up, just like the 200s, because there's not much. But if all the cards are are just the double double digits double double numbered ones then i will split it up depending on how much packets i get um but i still like sort of sort out the numbers to tell me which ones i have to go for now this one i have to go for 23 so that's when we're starting off. And I don't have any 23s. So gold goes at the front. 27. Do I have a 27? I've got a full set of 27. So that's a spare. So I do the same with the spares with the golds. 35. Do I have a 35 in gold? No. Yes. Now. 77 so i skip all of these all the way to 77 do i have a 77 in gold no thank goodness now 91 i don't even have a 91 so we'll make sure that's like that and it's essendon essendon is my favorite team and my favorite player is tip and woody I love Tip and Woody. 
so if you want i don't know if the comments are on if they're on then comment down below what your favorite football team is and who your favorite player is or email me i will put my email down in the in the description and yeah so now we're up to the hundreds there's only three so it's not going to take long so it's 138 so let's skip all this and go all the way to 138 now i've got 138 gold already but i just don't have one in like the normal card now it is 187 187 now i have done all those cards they're all just spares they're probably not even going to fit in the bag so i'm not going to show you how i'll put them in the bag so i may need to grab a new one just to do it um as you can tell the book's a bit yeah but with the spare like not the spares the good what the good cards i call them good cards because they're like i don't know i just sit them in like that and that's what i would do with the spares i don't have a special order or anything um if I do get another book, or just like a, a similar book to this, but not an actual AFL book, I'm going to put the spares in like in, in it, just like a photo album that has these sort of slots, and yeah. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, email me, or if the comments are on, shoot a comment and yeah so as everyone says subscribe hit that like button and yeah thank you bye